In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. God sent His message to the whole world, announcing the good news of peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. Jesus Christ, the incarnate Son of God, went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil, proclaiming the Father's love for men through miracles. The miracle of raising Lazarus from the dead four days after his burial was the most marvelous miracle that revealed Jesus' almighty power and the declaration of his ministry. After this amazing miracle, a large crowd of people had come to the festival in Jerusalem, especially after hearing that Jesus was going there. They took palm branches, which was a tradition to receive the victorious leader, and went out to meet him in a celebratory procession, as he is the Messiah, the King, who would save them from the Roman colonialists and re-establish the kingdom of David. They were shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, blessed is the King of Israel. But this popular reception aroused the envy and anger of the chief priests, and they planned to get rid of him and bring him to trial and to the cross. They didn't expect to see a king who is lowly and sitting on a donkey. He's not that king they were waiting for. They were waiting for a king from this world who gives commands and has a luxurious, mighty, and great appearance. But Jesus came to our world very gentle and humble and hard. He said his kingdom is not from this world. So the chief priests offered a financial reward to whoever could deliver him to them. And this is what the traitorous disciple Judas Iscariot did. Thus, Jesus was brought to the cross but he triumphed over all the evil spirits on the cross by his resurrection from the dead, offering salvation not only to the Jewish people, but to all those who accept him. He confronted Satan in his power of sin and death and defeated him with his life. Jesus gives salvation to all who accept and receive him from Satan's slavery and his humiliation to man's freedom and dignity. Amen.